Hey guys, this is Peter and well, I'm pretty excited. You know, I've been working with 5G home internet for two and a half years. I've done over 30 videos on it. I get the fastest speeds I've seen anybody get on the web. And you know what? I just realized I know hardly nothing about it because we're at the infancy of 5G and guess what? It's going to get a lot faster with lower latency. And this box pointed it out to me. This is a product by Invisigig and it is just a modem. It's a 5G modem and they've designed it to be super simple and crazy fast. So that's their little tagline, but uh, I also find it to be a bit future-proofed. Designed and manufactured and assembled in the United States, uh, this product is made in Tennessee and it has just about everything. Let me show you why I think it's pretty exciting. Look at this. The specs, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon modem in it. And I asked them, what does it support? You know, what bands does it support? And he said, well, all of them. And I said, no, no, is it focused for T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T? All of them. And it's true. It works with all of them. Look at these LTE band support. I actually went through by carrier, AT&T, covered. Verizon, covered. T-Mobile, didn't miss a one. And when you get to your, your mid-band stuff for your 5G, the, all the stuff we want for home networking, they have everything. And not only do they have everything for 5G, they cover the two different standards, which are, there's NSA, which is the non-standalone. That's what came out first. So I've been using it for two and a half years. Guess what? I have this T-Modem uh, gateway. The one that looks like, yeah, this one, the Nokia one. And then there's also this one, the Arcadian. No matter which one you have, you have NSA. That's because it rode on top of a 4G LTE carrier in fact, your primary signal is 4G LTE, and then your 5G is the piggyback. When you go to SA, or standalone, uh, then we're talking about two 5Gs aggregated together. Now, this isn't future talk, because when I plugged in the card and uh, ran, this, ran this box for the first time, I pulled two 5G frequencies. I didn't even know it was available yet. I pulled N25 and N41, and I gotta say, I'm pretty excited. N25 is a great band. See, before it was always, there were two camps. You were either the extended range people looking at 600 megahertz with N71, or you were up at the 2.5 gigahertz or 2500 megahertz with the N41 people. What about people in the middle that are like, hey, you know, I get the 600 easy, but that doesn't give me the speeds I need. N25 is at 1900 megahertz, way easier to receive than the 2.5 gigahertz, but uh, it's gonna be three X faster than N71. So exciting, I love N25. All right, and then when you have two, when you aggregate the two 5G uh, internets together, uh, you get lower latency because now you have a core that ru runs much more lean. It's uh, It just gets you lower latency. I'm pulling 20s which is just fantastic. I haven't done that before. I got 22s before, you know, and N25 is analogous to almost like a, a B2. But the cool thing about N25 is nobody else, none of these guys and none of these guys are able to get it because these ones are only be able, able to pull N41 and N71. This Arcadian one is able to pull N41, N71 and N66. I don't even think that's a T-Mobile asset, but if it is, hey, let me know. I'd love to know if someone's pulling that down. I think that's a Verizon asset, but because uh, I imagine they made this product as an OEM piece. In fact, I don't even recognize a B46 on there. 66, 71, 12, yeah. Um, I don't recognize B41 or B46, so it could be that that's just a product, but this one, this one will work with anything. Oh, it supports a couple great features. It supports a uh, static IP. So I'm going to go to T-Mobile. I'm going to uh, sign up with my business license. I'm going to get a static IP and I'm going to input it into this box and get past the carrier grade net. Once I'm successful at doing that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to work with uh, VPN providers that allow you to get a static and I'm going to come up with a solution for you so that you'll be able to get past it as well. I already started working on that today. And uh, we'll, hey, favorite my channel. We're going to get through this together. I can't wait to make 5G so much better. Where is this going to go? Well, look at this one. This one will go all the way up to 3.4 gigabits per second. That's the network speed. That's your N77. That's a pretty exciting one. N77 is promised by all the major carriers. Boop. AT&T, 
Verizon, and T-Mobile, they're all doing N77. N77, everyone's calling the Goldilocks band because this thing is wicked fast. Three point, what is it? 3.7 gigahertz? Let's see. I have a sheet sheet. Let's go look. N77. Yeah, 3.7 gigahertz. So if you had trouble getting N41, N77 is not on your radar. But if you're getting N41 and you live in a major metropolitan area and you're getting speeds that are wicked fast, you might want to go to an external antenna like me and pull in both of those. I'm going to shoot for N77 and Ford N41 together. Now, the advantage of getting a modem like this is means that you're able to get some of these bands that other people aren't able to get. So think of it as freeway traffic, right? Uh, sometimes N41 is, is clogged, and yeah, N71 can get clogged, but N77, N25, no one, let's take N25, no one else can get on that freeway. I'm going to have it to myself. So even though it has similar speeds, uh, I'm going to show you some scores, and yeah, I'm getting N41, so it's going to be the same, and I'm getting... Uh, N25, which is analogous to getting B2 because of both 1900 megahertz, uh, and they have very similar uh, upstream, downstream, and uh, but I'm going to have no load. I'm not going to have be uh, slowed down when other people hop on the network. It's going to be neat. Um, so what I'm also excited about are the new bands that they're adding in the 5G spectrum. Look at this. These channel widths, back to the road analogy, that's like having more lanes. When you have a freeway with a lot of lanes, it doesn't clog up so quickly. So, yeah, it can still clog up, but not as quickly. So I'm really excited about N25, this mid-band at 1900 megahertz, because it means there's a, a middle class now. There's no longer XR people and UC people. There's a middle ground, and that's exciting. And also n 77 is exciting. Um, B2 will be exciting. And if this B66, I don't know if it exists, that's a great middle ground as well. Uh, I'm excited for the future of this. I think we're going to see some wicked fast speeds. I think I'm going to need a faster home network because I'm going to be getting some wicked fast speeds. If I can solve the carrier grade NAT issue or the double NAT uh, using a, a static IP, I'll find a solution and I'll find a provider that is willing to get us to it so at a good price. And we'll go ahead and get that working. I'm not going to rest until I get Plex served to my kids at college. We have a family movie collection and they're like, we would love that. So let's get it done. Let's get it all done. Uh, there you go, guys. Hey, if you haven't heard of my channel before, click subscribe if you would. And if you have it, uh, if you like this kind of content, please click uh, like. It helps a video float up to the top like you wouldn't believe. Uh, the more likes it gets, don't say, well, it's got enough likes. No, the more that it gets, the more that it gets suggested. And sometimes it just go wicked growth. So it makes it more fun. Anyway, guys, there you go. Um, what did I have on here? I made sure it covers the T-Mobile bands. Now, you'll notice that everything that's above N257 is in the, well, in the ultra high band uh, stuff. So you're, you're going to be like a millimeter wave. You're going to have little tiny antennas. It's not for home networking. So obviously, this doesn't support that but all the bands that it should, the whole entire spectrum, bands one through 255, those are the ones that we we need coverage on, and that's what we're looking at here. So anyway, guys, there you go. Um, this is one hell of a modem, and I'm test I've already tested it out. Oh, it has some cool features on it. I forgot to tell you one of them. It does real-time data on all four different antennas, meaning I was up on my roof, I, I did a, a team viewer down to my my desktop and I was able to adjust the antennas just so I got the maximum score ever. So I've never adjusted my antennas so accurately before. That was really fun. It gives you the signal to noise ratio. It gives you your uh, reference signal receive power, your reference signal receive quality, and it color codes them. So you get the, the greens, the yellows, and the reds. Fantastic. Really well thought out product, very well supported. Hey, I wanna thank Richard over there. This thing is so well thought out. It runs on 12 volts. It'll run off 24 volts. It'll run off five volts. This thing is super cool. It doesn't, doesn't run hot. Uh, I've told everyone in some of my videos, in fact, you know that I use my T-Mobile, this one. I use this as a modem only. 
I don't let it do Wi-Fi. Why? Because it sucks at it. It gets really hot and uh, it doesn't cover anything. And the hotter it gets, the less it covers. So I have a whole network containing like 32 devices and my whole house runs on it. I don't let this do it. So I don't need that functionality. All I need is a good modem that is wicked fast and simple to use. And that's exactly what this is. So I'll put a link down to Invisigig. Take a look and uh, give them a call. They're in Tennessee. So uh, have a good one, guys. Catch you in the next one.